Hey, hey, friends, got a TTG reaction for you? Staring at the future. Oh, right, the thing is, wait, hold on. Is Jinx in that image? Hold on, does Robin think Jinx will be crushing on him? Come on. Starfire, I believe, because there was that one moment where Robin was staring at the moon and Starfire had flowers for him or whatever, but hold on, getting a mustache? Really cool. If this tuna could grow a mustache, he would. Oh? What? Of course, it's shenanigans time! <laughs> you know, the indoor rodeo that happens every time at the Titan Tower! Happens every time! We got more Cyborg and Beast Boy shenanigans. They are causing a ruckus. Oh. <laughs> I know that plot. That's the plot of Splatoon 3. That if you go inside the goop, you turn all furry. They become a mammalian or something like that, right? Splatoon 3 be like. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. You knock and they knock right back. What the heck? They're destroying everything over here. But Beast Bowl? Look at Beast Bowl go. Look at that Beast Bowl. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ow, that hurts. Oh. Oh my god. Not the couch, but oh my goodness, the way that Raven was getting stepped on. Ah, you can hear the crunch in that in her bones right there. Also, what is with that balloon on the top left? <laughs> oh, man. I believe I just set the new indoor rodeo record. What is the record? For lasting long in the bowl? Oh. <laughs> what? I hope you intend. Freaking Robin! Maid can take care of it. Maid? They don't have a maid. Yeah. They don't really have a maid. Wait, why don't they have a maid? They're superheroes. Can't the city just give them a maid, but... Yeah, they don't have a maid. They're teenagers. Do your things. Do your chores. And that is our problem. How? Come on. Uh, we are just goofing off. Oh, that well, must hurt, though. Off. It's also about responsibilities. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? What's wrong? That word. They can see the word. Responsibility is a scary word, but it is a word that we all live by. We all have our responsibilities as we go through life. My responsibility is to stay in the water. You have your responsibilities, too. It's very scary. Responsibility. <laughs> Seriously, you guys need the to word start keeps popping the up. We have, and it's gonna be even better than the present, because things always improve. In the future, they're gonna finally eradicate that thing you keep talking about. The responsibility? <laughs> In the future, they're gonna get rid of responsibility. I don't know, that sounds kind of real though. That sounds way too real about responsibility being eradicated and all that. But, yeah, when you get these two involved with the word responsibility, they don't want to be a part of that. Let's get out of here, bro! <laughs> no responsibility! Oh, ooh. The word is done! <laughs> like a little pizza to make us forget our friends thoughtful advice <laughs> our friends really care about us who cares about that but one of my favorite gags in cartoons is when words become real and it just falls down like you know breaking the fourth wall right there like they see the word and everything also do you see beast boy's little booster seat <laughs> if without that little booster seat he be he, like his head, like his mouth will be under the table. Oh. 
Dang, that is one stretchy pizza. Dang. That floor pizza is mine. I saw it first. Th Me too. Are they gonna fight? So am I. Oh. Oh my goodness, Beast Boy. I think you need to see a doctor about that. I don't think you can do that. But can you imagine if humans can actually pull out their eyes like that? How would you react if all of a sudden people want to stare at you and they just start yanking out their eyeballs to make it look like what Beast Boy is doing? But you saw how stretchy that pizza was, right? That was one stretchy pizza. Is it made out of freaking rubber? Staring contest. Last one to look away from the slice gets it. You're on. Yeah. So this is the episode. They're gonna stare at a slice of pizza. Are you really? Wait. The years are passing by. Or how far are we going in the future? Also, doesn't the store owner or like the, the, they're not getting kicked out or anything? That store must be a 24-7 pizzeria then. Holy heck. It's still going. Also, another thing. It just shows that throughout all this time, their friends, the other Titans, did not come to get them. Shows how much they care about Cyborg and Beast Boy. Doesn't it? <laughs> also, that pizza place has stayed the same throughout all those years? <laughs> you blinked. Duh, blinked. there's a roach there. It oh, no, no, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. This pizza tastes like it's 30 years old. So wait, it's been 30 years? Because we've been here for 30 years? And Zippy's pizza has still remained the same except it's gotten really bigger. But the storefront still looks the same. So you're telling me they did a time skip by staring at a pizza for so long? To be honest, out of all the time skips I've ever seen, this is absolutely one of them. Dang. Yeah, forget about the forget about the rodeo thing. Thirty years of staring, though. The tower still looks the same, though. Wait, hold on a second. Why is Robin caked? I mean, <laughs> and he's got the giant mullet. Oh, wait, this is a uh, Nightwing, right? They don't like I said, I don't know much about DC characters, but I, I'm slowly learning. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, he's got a baby. Long time no see. Wait, okay, I'm okay. Robin looks cool, but the thing is, he got a girl. He got a baby. That means he got married. He got a baby. So hopefully this means Robin isn't crazy anymore. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> what is that thing? It's not a thing. It's my baby. Nobody cares about that baby. We're talking about your mullet, dude. <laughs> uh, just a new look. I go by the name Nightwing now. It's a Nightwing! Up, so you and Starfire finally tied the knot, huh? Oh, uh, well... It could work. I mean, if so, does Starfire not see Robin as crazy anymore? But I don't think it is Starfire because that baby looks way too normal. That looks like a very normal baby, right? But the orange hair does make me believe it is Starfire. But that's just a really normal looking baby. No, me and Batgirl. Hi, guys. Batgirl? Hey, yo! Dang, they kissed for a long time, though. The baby's like, <laughs> and mommy and daddy kissing. <laughs> but hold on. You're telling me that when Robin grows up, he got that Riz going on. Because he got Batgirl? Dang, Robin! I mean, Nightwing, but dang! What, what is with the music? It used to be so much cooler! 
Really? Speaking. Oh. I gotta get you out of here. Let's go to the movie. I can't. It's my night to fix dinner. Says who? It's just one of my responsibilities. The ward is still there. So in the future, the ward has not been eradicated. Responsibility is still a huge thing right there. But it's nuts knowing that in 30 years. So wait. If it's been 30 years, everybody here didn't look like they aged because if they're teens before the 30 years have passed, they should be in their 40s. Robin and Batgirl look pretty good in their 40s. Cyborg and Beast Boy look pretty good in their 40s, I guess. <laughs> Make it stop, Cyborg! <laughs> Starfire. Oh yeah, what about no, the others? Moved back home. Oh, to Tamaranian? Tamar Tamaranian? Like, the Tamaran planet? I'm trying to figure out... Oh! Hey, Whoa! Do they really gotta fight these guys out? But... Did Starfire become queen of her planet now? In just their... Wow, okay, I gotta say. Good for Starfire. Robin's doing well, Starfire's doing well. I wonder how Raven's doing. The, wh wow. You're telling me they're stronger. What's up with those guys? What? You're you're telling me that they're stronger than the Tamaranian warriors? Also, you can tell that Starfire aged because she's got eye she's got lines under her eyes. How to age up a character? Draw lines under their eyes, and then you know that's how much they aged. What is up is that I am now queen of Tamaran, and they Tamaran, that's the planet. Hey, so come to the movies with us. You got movies on this planet, right? We have gladiators battling three-headed Carnian dragons with laser eyes. That's way better than a movie. Unfortunately, I cannot join you. But you're the queen, come on. And with that honor comes responsibilities. <laughs> I gotta say, in 30 years, Starfire has become very responsible, becoming Queen of Tamaran. And I'm pretty sure in those 30 years, she has become pretty much the strongest Tamaranian of her home planet. Which is insane, though, but did her hair get longer, too? I'm trying to figure out, like, what else changed besides the line under her eyes, which pretty much, if you want to age somebody up, draw lines under their eyes, and you know that's how they got older. <laughs> Humanity. Such a Major scary Raven word. Hasn't changed. Where is she? Whoa. This is the nicest other dimensional plane I have ever seen. Wait, then how'd you get there? If it's in another dimension, how'd they easily just get there? I mean, they easily just went to Tamaran like it's nothing. Then all of a sudden, oh, we know where Raven is. Ah, here she is. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Raven! Raven! Oh? Did she become the son? What happened to you? Well, I defeated my father in the ultimate battle of good versus evil. What? Now that's a battle I want to see. Hold on a second. So Raven actually beat her father and obtained the ultimate power, I guess. But still, that's a fight I want to see. Can we just go back a few years just to see how that fight went? Because that must have been awesome. Afterwards, I was reborn as pure energy, an all-powerful oh. force of good. Now I pretty much keep the whole universe in balance. Hang on a sec. Azerath Metrion Zinthos! Whoa. Just saved the planet. Good job. I gotta say, Raven becoming the ultimate good in the world right there. That she just says her magic she, she just says her she just says the words and saves the entire universe basically that's a crazy ending right there so you're like a celestial goddess or something it's a living <laughs> what are you guys doing up here anyway you're not dead are you nah, I'm just looking for someone to go to the movies with us sorry balancing all the good and evil throughout the galaxies is a full-time job and a big response don't you nope. say that word don't you say that word <laughs> <laughs> Get that word out of here! I know you're the ultimate good of all the galaxies, but you cannot see that word anymore! What the heck? <laughs> but the thing is, what Raven do do what Raven is doing is the ultimate responsibility for all the galaxies. She can't even do anything but save the galaxies. She is just pure energy with a face. <laughs> 
<laughs> did, did they go back? <laughs> For like no. <laughs> All of her friends are stuck in dead end jobs. Husband, uh, what? Queen, whatevs. Goddess of the universe. What do you mean dead? <laughs> If they mean dead end, they mean ultimate jobs because being a husband is important, being a queen is important, and being pure energy is also important. This, it, these boys are like, these are dead end jobs, but they, these are, if you want to count them as dead end jobs, they sort of are, but in a good way. I cannot live in a world like this, and they shouldn't have to either. You've got to save them from themselves, but what how? Are they going to try to go back in time? machine. Go back 30 years and change one little thing. Oh, the butterfly effect. The and everything will be different. But look how sad they are, though. Literally, it's like, let's change the past to change the future and make them all sad like we are. They even, like, they, they, they even drew them sad. Like, what, no husband, no queen, no pure energy? Oh, okay, fine. You two are just amazing friends. So obvious. Let's do it. Let's go back in the past and ruin their future. <laughs> the, the, are they really just building it in the lobby? Where, you know, Night, Nightwing and K Batgirl can see what's going on? They, these two are really big idiots, but I love them so much. You guys want leftovers? No! It's pasta. Ooh, no. pasta. Do you mind keeping it down? The kids are trying to sleep. Wait, kids? Kids? You mean the baby was not it? Nightwing and Cat Batgirl had babies? Nightwing really got the riz up. When we're done, you won't have to worry about your kids anymore. <laughs> uh, once we get our time machine finished, your kids will no longer exist. So you guys don't end up like this. You're welcome, by the way. Wait a minute. I like my life. I love my family. Dang, three babies though? But literally, imagine your old friend telling you, hey, we're gonna go back to the past. Your babies will no longer exist. Your relationship, non-existent anymore. Your life, your good life, say bye-bye to that. Dude, your family's horrible! Dang, that's disrespectful. Yes, Robin? They're Ooh. trying to change history. Don't do this, I command you. Hey, you're not the boss of me. Technically, I am. Actually, she is, but the thing is, can't she just go like Azeroth met you on Zinthos and just stop those two? I mean, if she could, she would, and I'm pretty sure she can. Immortal goddess, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, not for long, you're not. Wow. All done. Let's go, bro. Dang, they actually made it. Oh. Oh. Really? This is insane. Freaking the responsible Teen Titans versus the irresponsible Teen Titans. Doing all of this to change the future for the worst. What kind of episode is this? Forget your good future. Say goodbye to that. Oh. Really? Energy can take pain like that? That's nuts. Oh. The kids. Yeah. Sorry, hon. So, why are they sleeping in the kitchen, by the way? I thought the bedrooms were on the other side. Hmm. Curious. Oh, wait. They took the time to actually go back? Oh, you know what? That was Batgirl's fault. That was Batgirl's fault. If she wasn't just going shh for so long, they probably could have stopped Beast Boy and Cyborg, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. So far, so good. What do we do now? We change one little thing. We share the last slice. So that's how they're gonna. Well, that means they won't be staring at it anymore. This is a big enough change to alter the future. Guess we'll have to wait 30 years to find out. The thing is, so 
Yeah, they'll change it because instead of staring at, each, at the pizza for 30 years, they can actually do something different. So yeah, the, pretty much what they did, the future is already alter, altered. Yeah, altered. Did they... Did the they really just wait there for 30 years? The There's the... No responsibilities? You know it. Did they really... They really got the bad ending over here. They really waited there for 30 years while the world around them crumbled and really just said no responsibilities, but the whole world is doomed. Doesn't matter, no responsibilities. And look at them. They, they, they really altered. They altered everything. So you're telling me a pizza slice was the difference between a good, a good ending and a bad ending. And sharing the pizza made the bad ending happen. The robot overlords have taken over the entire city. How did things get to this? I think it had something to do with sharing a slice of pizza what kind of thing that? is that it could have been a lot worse man you almost had a baby and a mullet you're like that's bad oh frick so <laughs> i don't know it's like if the future can be drastically changed by a slice of pizza it's just telling you that cyborg and beast boy are the reasons why the future is bad like, it's not the pizza itself, it's just like Cyborg and Beast Boy are the reason why it's bad. I know it's the pizza slice, but it just shows how much Beast Boy and Cyborg just really hate the word responsibility to the point that the Earth became doomed because of that one word. And yet, the others are getting attacked. This is a future I can live with. This is the future you want. Wow. What a future it is. Wow. What a, what a great future that is. You know, they got the bad ending. I get it. Teen Titans Go is a parody series. It's supposed to be like joking and com comedic and all that stuff. I just like talking about these things. It's just... Wow. What an ending right there. It's just that the show ends in many ways. Like when the Teen Titans turned into appliances. Like Robin was a flash, was a freaking lamp. Beast Boy was a coffee maker, stuff like that. The show has many, you know, quote unquote endings. Like if the show ended that way, then, you know, that's like bad ending number one, bad ending number two. This is like one of those bad endings all because of a slice of pizza. But either way, they stared at the pizza for 30 years or they just sit there for 30 years. And somehow that was able to drastically change what was going on to the point that Beast Boy and Cyborg did not get hurt at all. They were sitting in the same seats, but everything around them was destroyed. Were, were <laughs> like, is someone aware that, oh yeah, Beast Boy and Cyborg, you're the reason why the world is doomed. We will not attack you when the future comes and the robot overlords take over the earth. You will be safe, but all your friends will die. Eh, that's okay, bro. As long as I'm with my boy Cyborg, that's right. But I don't know, it's it's a crazy it's a crazy episode though that we actually did get to see a time skip, Starfire, Robin, I mean Nightwing and Raven. Showing that if their futures went went on as they did, Nightwing would end up with Batgirl, that's crazy, end up with three babies. Starfire ends up as Queen of Tam Tamaran, becoming the most powerful warrior on our planet, and Raven becoming becoming reborn as pure energy after defeating her father in a battle for good versus evil which that's insane i do wonder or or are they following these stories from like the comics in any way like is that one of, if is that something that raven does is this something that starfire does and robin becoming nightwing i think that does happen right like i said i'm slowly learning up on dc stuff so i might not know everything but do let me know in the comments like what like do these things happen in the comics at least but either way hope you enjoyed this as much as i did would you risk a pizza for a future like this either way like the video if you have 
subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will catch you next time.